हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू द केमिस्ट्री क्लास सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस द कॉलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज एंड डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट फर्स्ट वन इज रिलेटिव लोअरिंग इन वेपर प्रेशर सेकेंड वन एलिवेशन इन बॉइलिंग पॉइंट एंड द थर्ड वन इज डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट so the third formula depression in freezing point first one number one rlvp relative lowering in vapor pressure so on this the formula p p not minus p by p not delta p divided by p not is equals to xb r in this place in place of xb you can write number of moles of solute divided by number of moles of solvent wb by mb and ma divided by wa to calculate the molar mass of solute this is the first formula and the second one is elevation in boiling point that is delta tb elevation in boiling point molar mass is equals to kb wb 1000 divided by delta tb into wa where delta tb is equals to tb minus t not b next the third one that is depression in freezing point delta tf so on this mb is equals to same formula in place of kb i am writing kf wb 1000 divided by delta tf into wa but in this case delta tf is equals to t not f minus tf here tb minus t not b here t not f minus tf for water its value is constant boiling point of water is 373.15 kelvin or 100 degrees celsius freezing point of water is 0 degrees celsius 0 degrees celsius or you can write 273.15 kelvin it is constant so now in this session we are going to solve few problems on depression in freezing point and first rlvp second elevation in boiling point we have solved numericals and Hope you have solved the DBP also. Now in today's session, we'll discuss the numericals on depression in freezing point. Okay, so these are the formulas. So now let us go with the numericals on depression in freezing point. Right. The first problem. Forty-five gram of ethylene glycol is mixed with six hundred gram of water. Calculate the depression in freezing point and the freezing point of the solution. Take the question. This is here. Forty-five grams of ethylene glycol. Ethylene glycol. Forty-five gram of ethylene glycol. The formula C two H six O two. So this is dissolved in. It is dissolved in six hundred grams of water. Six hundred grams of water. Six hundred grams of water. So here calculate. Calculate the freezing point depression and freezing point of solution so what will be the depression in freezing point and freezing point of the solution so i want to calculate these two so let us first you can calculate this so here one term is given the freezing point constant that is cryoscopic constant for water is given 1.86 kelvin kg per mole kelvin kg per mole it is given so now i want to calculate delta tf what is the formula for that delta tf is equals to kf into wb into 1000 divided by divided by 
एम बी इंटू डब्ल्यू ए एम बी इंटू डब्ल्यू ए और सिंपली वी कैन राइट डेल्टा टी एफ इज इक्वल टू के एफ इंटू एम दट इज मोलियालिटी सो दिस इज द मोलियालिटी मोलियालिटी टर्म्स सो यू कैन कैलकुलेट द मोलियालिटी सब्सटीट्यूट सो डेल्टा टी एफ इज इक्वल टू के एफ वैल्यू इज गिवन वन पॉइंट एट सिक्स डब्ल्यू बी सो हियर इथेलिन ग्लाइकॉल इज द सल्यूट इथेलिन ग्लाइकॉल एंड इट्स मास इज फोर्टी फाइव सो डब्ल्यू बी इज फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड इज कॉन्स्टेंट डिवाइडेड बाय व्हाट इज द मोलर मास ऑफ इथेलिन ग्लाइकॉल यू कैन कैलकुलेट द मोलर मास ऑफ इथेलिन ग्लाइकॉल सी टू एच सिक्स ओ टू ट्वेल्व इंटू टू प्लस सिक्स प्लस सिक्सटीन इंटू टू दैट इज थर्टी टू प्लस सिक्स थर्टी एट थर्टी एट प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर सो दैट इज सिक्सटी टू इंटू वेट ऑफ सॉल्वेंट सो सॉल्वेंट इज वॉटर एंड इट्स वेट इज गिवन सिक्स हंड्रेड ग्राम्स सो कैलकुलेट सो दिस वैल्यू दिस इज अ डेल्टा टी एफ द आंसर इज डेल्टा टी एफ टू जीरो टू जीरो कैंसल So eighteen point six into forty five divided by sixty two into six. The final answer is two point two five Kelvin. So this is data here. The freezing depression in freezing point we have calculated. The first term depression in freezing point is over. What about the freezing point of solution? The freezing point of solution is as we know that. Delta T F is nothing but what? So it is T naught F minus T F is equals to two point two five. Delta T F value is known. So in place of delta T F, I am writing its definition. By definition, we have written. I want to calculate this. So therefore, its value is T naught F freezing point of water. That is zero degree Celsius to seventy three point one five Kelvin minus. 2.25 is equals to Tf. So therefore, the freezing point of solution is. What is the answer? So its answer is 270. Point, 270.9. Point 270.9 point Kelvin. This is the freezing point of solution. The freezing point of solution. Okay, right. Next problem. So here, addition of 0.643 grams of a compound to 50 ml of benzene, whose density is given, lowers the freezing point from 5.51 to 5.03. So if Kf for benzene is 5.12, then calculate the molar mass. So here calculate Yb. Mm. So the question is, addition of 0.643 gram of a compound. So here. Addition of zero point six four three gram of a compound. So this point six four three gram of a compound is added to fifty ml of benzene. Fifty ml of benzene whose density is given point eight seven nine eight seven nine grams per ml. Now this lowers the freezing point from. So the freezing point, it lowers the freezing point from freezing point from five point five one five point five one Kelvin to five point zero three freezing point from five point five one to five point zero three. If if Kf for benzene is five point one two. Kelvin kg per mole. Kelvin kg per mole. Kelvin kg per mole. Then what will be the molar mass of solute? Mb is equal to question mark. If 0.643 gram of a compound is added to 50 ml of benzene, and the benzene density of benzene is given 0.879 grams per ml. So when 0.643 gram of solute is added. Its freezing point is decreases from 5.51 to 5.03. Then what will be the molar mass of the compound added? So here it is given. So this is W B is given in this case, but M B is not given. Which compound it is? We don't know. 
some organic compound its molar mass we want to calculate now so here ml volume is given mass is not given you need to convert this volume into mass so for that density is required it is given mb is equals to formula mb is equals to kf wb 1000 divided by delta tf into wa kf value is given 5.12 okay wb is given 0.643 into 1000 divided by delta tf difference in the freezing point depression so initially it is 5.51 minus 5.03 so 5.51 minus 5.03 delta tf into wba weight of solvent we required so we know that density is equal to mass by volume therefore mass of solution is equal to density into volume <coughs> volume is given 50 ml so its density is 0.879 so this is the so simplify this I write the answer 5.12 into 643 divided by the difference value 5.51 minus 3 means 48 0 0.48 into 50 into 0 0.879 that is 43.95 once you verify the calculations and the final answer which comes out 56 point 06 grams per mole. The molar mass of the compound added is 156.06. This is the answer. Once you verify the calculations, so this is the formula MB. Formula substitution simplification will get the answer. The molar mass of solute is 156. Yes, right. Next question. <coughs> Next question. If the freezing point depression or depression freezing point constant, that is cryoscopic constant Kf is 4.9, comma, when 3.26 gram of selenium is dissolved in 226 gram of benzene, the observed freezing point is 0 0.112 degree less than pure benzene. So, what is the formula of selenium? Kf is given. Now, 3.26 gram of selenium is added to, is added to or is dissolved in 226 gram of benzene. 3.26 gram of selenium is dissolved in 226 gram of benzene. So, it is solute and this is solvent. So it is solute, given mass of solute Wb, what about the atomic mass of selenium? Atomic mass of selenium is 78.8, note this, it is 78.8, it is given. Now, the absorbed freezing point, upon the addition of this selenium to the benzene, the freezing point is absorbed that 0.112 degree less than pure benzene. So freezing point of benzene is some x value, something value is there. So when some amount of solute is added, the freezing point further decreased by 0 0.02, 0 0.112. That means depression in freezing point is given. So here delta Tf, benzene, something value is there, I don't know that. So when this selenium is added, the absorbed freezing point is 0 0.112 degree less than pure benzene less than that means it is decreased so delta tf is given now what is the formula of selenium what is the formula of selenium so first let us calculate the molar mass of selenium and then we will go for formula so let us formula be sex sex is the formula now i want to calculate the x value, so x is equal to question mark. So I want to calculate this also. So first we will calculate the MB. So first, molar mass of solute is equal to Kf into Wb into 1000 divided by delta Tf into Wa. 
This is the formula. Kf is given. Substitute. Kf is Kf value is 4.9 into Wb is given 3.26 into 1000 divided by delta Tf. Difference value already is given 0.112 into Wa. Wa weight of solvent is given 226. Simplify and write the answer. Yes. So formula substitution and simplification. So its answer is 632 grams per mole. This is the answer. Molar mass. Now molar mass is 632. That means formula is SEX. So X into atomic mass of SE that is used to 632. So X into its atomic mass is 78.8 that is equal to 632 so therefore x is equal to 632 by 78.8 and it is nearly equals to 8 so therefore the formula is se8 se8 is the formula of selenium formula of selenium is it clear okay right next one of our next one Next. <clears throat> the freezing point of next problem. Freezing point of zero point one five four molal sugar solution. The solution is 271. The freezing point of sugar solution is 271 Kelvin, whose molarity is also given 0 0.154. 154. Now, the freezing point of pure water, it is known, freezing point of pure water is known, that is 0 degree Celsius, 273.15. Kelvin, what will be the freezing point of an aqueous solution containing 5 grams in 100 grams of solution? So these two terms are given and they are asking the third one. So what is the freezing point of freezing point of a solution which contains which contains 5 gram glucose in 5 gram glucose in 100 gram solution 100 gram solvent per 100 gram so here 5 gram glucose in 100 gram of solvent 5 gram glucose when dissolved in 100 gram of solvent it becomes solution so what is the freezing point of this solution sugar solution or glucose solutions glucose sugar cane so here first point Kf value is not given in this case. So let us calculate the Kf value. So what is the formula? Delta Tf is equal to Delta Tf is equal to T naught F minus Tf. T naught F is given 273.15. Freezing point of the solution is 271 Kelvin. So therefore the difference value is the difference value is 2.15 Now experimentally delta Tf is directly proportional to molarity Delta Tf is equal to Kf into M So delta Tf is 2.15 Kelvin It is calculated Kf I want to calculate molarity is 0 0.154 Therefore Kf is equal to 2.15 divided by 0 0.154 and so the Kf value is it is 13.9 13.97 yes Kf is calculated now go for calculating the freezing point of this solution so delta Tf is equal to Kf into Wb into 1000 divided by Mb into weight of solvent Mb is equal to this formula so now substitute and simplify. Delta Tf is equal to Kf value is 13.97. Wb is 5 gram 
into thousands divided by molar mass of glucose is 180 180 into weight of solvent is 100 sorry it is weight of solution solution is given so in 100 gram of solution 5 gram is solute then remaining 95 gram is solvent so substitute and simplify we will get the answer so here the final answer is 4.08 4.08 kelvin this is delta tf but i want to calculate freezing point tf i want so delta tf is nothing but t naught f minus tf is equals to 4.08 therefore tf is equals to 273.15 minus 4.08 so tf is equals to 269.07 yes this is the freezing point of solution slow it down yes next question <coughs> Next question. Ethylene glycol is commonly used as antifreeze. It is used in car radiator. Is it advisable to keep the ethylene glycol if the freezing point of a solution? First, first of all, you need to calculate. Okay. First, you see the questions. Calculate the freezing point of a solution containing 12.4 gram of ethylene glycol in 100 gram of water so it is uh, used in the car radiator as an antifreeze now is it advisable to keep in car radiator if kf and kb values are given calculate the freezing point of solution containing calculate the freezing point of a solution containing containing 12.4 grams of ethylene glycol in 100 gram of water 100 gram of water here it is given if kf is 1.86 and kb is 0.512 kelvin kg per mole kelvin kg per mole is it advisable to keep it in car radiator yes or no so to predict that okay leave that application question first you can calculate the freezing point and boiling point of this solution so here freezing point tf is equal to question mark and tb is equal to question mark first you can calculate this so tf you, if you want to calculate tf so delta Tf is equals to Kf into Wb into 1000 divided by Mb into Wa. Substitute, simplify. Everything is given. Kf is 1.86. Wb, that is 12.4 into 1000 divided by molar mass of ethylene glycol C2H6O2 that is 62 mb is 62 weight of solvent weight of solvent is 100 so when it is simplified then delta tf is equal to 3.72 once you verify the calculations so it is 3.72 then tf is delta tf is nothing but t naught f minus tf is equal to 3.72 therefore tf is equal to 273.15 minus 3.72 the freezing point of solution is 269.43 kelvin 269.43 kelvin now similarly you can calculate tb delta tb is equals to kb into m m is nothing but again even mass divided by molar mass weight of solvent into 1000 molarity definition so delta tb is nothing but tb minus t naught b is equal to so kb value is given kb value is 0 
WB 12.6 into 12.4 into 1000 divided by 62 into 100. So that is equal to the boiling point of solution is equal to it is 1.04. 1.04. So I want to calculate TB. So TB minus T naught B is TB is equal to 1.04 plus T naught B. Its value is constant 100 degrees Celsius. That is 373.15. So the boiling point of solution is 374.19. See that. The boiling point of this solution is more than room temperature. If the boiling point of solution is less than room temperature, we cannot place the ethylene glycol in the car radiator because it is undergoing evaporation. It cannot be used as an antifreeze in that if its boiling point is less than room temperature. Here, the boiling point of the solution is greater than room temperature, therefore it is advisable to keep in the car radiator because it freezes the boiling point. The boiling point is more than room temperature. So this is the answer, freezing point of solution and the boiling point of solution. The remaining questions solve. Okay. Uh, the remaining questions we just solve. If you have any doubts, we will continue in the doubt sessions. Okay, right. Thank you.